Hey Salam, I hope you guys are well. Halal Surf is back for another video and this time I'm making a mouth-watering lamb karahi. This is one of the most delicious lamb karahi that you're gonna try. I'm gonna serve this lamb karahi with rice, naan bread and a really nice salad. Trust me, you're really gonna enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with our spice mix for our lamb karahi. Over the ground coriander, ground cumin, garam masala, red chili flakes, red chili butter for some heat. You can add a bit more if you like. Over the freshly grounded black pepper, over the turmeric, and finally I've got some of the fenugreek powder. There's no need to use any whole spices. These are the only spices that you will need. Give that a really good mix and set aside for later use. Now you want to thinly slice the onions. Three finger on the onions and this knuckle is gonna be your guy. Bismillah. Make a paste of garlic. Please don't use a store-bought one. You will also need to use paste of fresh ginger. Finally chop the tomatoes. It's best if you can get rid of the skin using your knife. You don't really have to get rid of the skin, but it does make a difference. And I'm also gonna use some of these green bullet chilies. It's gonna add a lot of flavor to our lamb curry. For the lamb, I'm using lamb shoulder. You could also use leg of lamb or any other part of the meat. The lamb should be cut into medium small pieces and feel free to wash it. There is a large bone in the lamb shoulder which I kindly ask the butcher to cut through the middle and expose this bone marrow. This bone marrow will cook along with your lamb and add a very nice rich flavor to your lamb karai. So if you can, cut it open or ask your butcher to do it for you. You could also use mutton but bear in mind that will take longer to cook. Alright, so everything is ready, it looks great. Let's get cooking now. Grab your pan and add a good touch of foil in there. The heat is on medium high. Now when the oil is nice and hot, we're gonna throw in our lamb. Bismillah. And with some of the salt, give that a really good mix and we're gonna brown the lamb. Get rid of some of the smell of the lamb. You know, get a nice color as well. I'm gonna throw in half of the garlic and half of the ginger as well. Give that a mix and really cook the lamb. Now once you have this light brown color on the lamb, we're gonna start removing it. Now add some more oil in the same pan and the heat is on medium now. With your beautiful onions. Give that a mix and get a gold brown color on those onions. It should take you around five to seven minutes. Cover the onions for a few minutes to soften them up. You can always deglaze with a touch of water if you need to. And with your ginger and of course your garlic. And again, you want to cook the rawness of the ginger and garlic as well. Just cover for a few seconds, kill the smell of the garlic. And I'll throw in our juicy tomatoes. Again, what you need to do here, you need to cover this so we can soften up those tomatoes. And let's check this. As you can see, those tomatoes are nice and soft now. This is how you cook a proper lamb karahi. Your family, your mom, your dad is gonna love this. And now add the lamb back in there. Give that a mix. Now throw in your spices. Of amazing red chili, coriander, cumin. Some of the salt as well. We already used a bit of the salt before. So just make sure it's to your taste. I'm gonna give that a mix again. You want to cook the rawness of the spices. Give this another minute. Crank up the heat and really cook those spices. One of the best lamb karahi that you're gonna try. I'm gonna add in some water. And we're gonna leave this covered for around 25 to 30 minutes until the lamb is nice and tender. The heat now is on low medium. Make sure nothing sticks to the pan and keep an eye on it. Alright guys, let's check this. The lamb should be tender by now. Oh man, the lamb cry smells so amazing. Trust me. Now we're going to fry up this mixture. Throw in knobs of butter and with your green chilies. Now crank up the heat to around medium high and really fry that up for around 5 minutes. Make sure to fry this up properly, that's what's gonna have a really nice flavor. Oh, the buttery lamb karahi. Oh, just have a look at that. Alright, so our lamb karahi is nearly done. I'm gonna throw in some yogurt in there. A few tablespoons of that. And some of the black pepper in there. And again, just fry this up for a few minutes. If you don't have yogurt, you could use a bit of the lemon. Alright, guys, our amazing lamb karahi is done. Just turn off the heat for now. Now let's garnish this with some of the green chilies, some of the ginger juliennes, and fresh coriander. The most delicious lamb karahi. 
done. For the salad, let's start with salted onions. Add a good touch of salt in there and give that a mix. The salt is gonna mellow down the onions a bit. Once you have mixed it, just set aside for a few minutes. Grab another bowl in with your cucumber, tomatoes, and with a preserved lemon, make sure to remove all the seeds. It with the gherkins, green pickle chilies. And finally, we're gonna add our onions, but first give it a quick wash in cold water. And finally, some chopped coriander. Now you can season and add a bit of olive oil when just about to serve. Our amazing fresh salad. Done. For the rice, turn up the heat to medium. With a good touch of oil. Now when the oil is nice and hot, turn with your onions. Give that a mix and you want to let this cook until it's nice and golden brown. If anything is burning or sticking to the pan, you can always deglaze with a touch of water. Now let's add in some garlic in there. Grab your knife slice in there and again you want to cook the rawness of the garlic deglaze if required and i'll throw in these green chilies and give that a mix for the spices i'm using a red chili some of the garam masala black pepper salt some of the cassie bark green cardamom cloves and few bay leaves and with our spices mix again and you want to toast those spices you might have to deglaze again if required all right with your water Give that a good mix and bring it to simmer. I'm gonna throw in some of the saffron for a really nice aroma. Now when it starts to simmer, I'm gonna throw in our rice. These rice were washed and soaked in water for at least half an hour. Now give that a mix and let it cook until there is some water left. These rice are so easy and simple to make and they're gonna be so delicious. Also, this is the perfect time to check for any seasoning. You know, I just salt if you need to. Now when there is some water left, as you can see, I'm gonna throw in some of the cumin seeds on the top. Now turn the heat to low, place a clean kitchen cloth on the top, place your lid and we're gonna let this steam up for around 13 to 15 minutes on low heat. Alright guys, let's check our rice. Bismillah. Have a look at that. That looks so good. Just turn off the heat at this point. Gonna fluff them up. Oh, look at that. So good. Now what you wanna do is throw in a few knobs of butter and a squeeze of lemon juice to add some freshness, some acidity. Give that a little mix. Oh, these smells amazing, trust me. And finally you can garnish it. Our amazing cumin rice. Done. You know, I already can't wait to try these. Let's have a little taste. Bismillah. Mmm. Those are so delicious. Alright guys, let's play this up. Here with your delicious rice. Of our amazing salad. Of our mouth-watering lamb karahi. And some of this naan bread. Alright guys, I'm gonna try this. Let's try some of the salad first. Bismillah. Mmm. Very refreshing. Alright, now I'm just gonna have a taste of those rice first. Bismillah. Wow. There's so much flavor in them. Look at that. I'm just gonna try with some of that karahi sauce. That is so delicious, trust me. Let's take a good bite of our lamb karahi with some of this naan bread. Smaller. Mm. Like I said before, this is one of the best lamb karahi that you're gonna try. The lamb is so tender, perfectly cooked along with those spices. And the green chilies, the ginger, add a really nice, amazing flavor to this. I'm just lost for words, it is so delicious. Serve with the rice, serve with the naan bread. The choice is yours, but the both will go perfectly with the lamb karahi, you know. I promise you haven't tried a lamb karahi like this before. Can we please get this video to 5,000 likes? I really appreciate it. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make subscribe, make sure like. Inshallah, see you next time. Until then, salam. Make for your mom. Make for your dad. Make for your family. Enjoy.